A cylinder of a 50 mm base diameter and axis length 60 mm is resting on its base on HP having axis perpendicular to HP. So initially we have to draw its top view representing the circle. Draw the circle and locate its center point, point by drawing the two perpendicular lines. Then we have to locate the 12 generator points by using the compass set these 12 generator points on the circumference of a circle draw these 12 generators starting from 1 to 12 these generator generators should be very faint because it is not an active part of our drawing just these are the preliminary level we have to use to finalize our drawing These are the generators which appears just as a spokes of a bicycle ring. These are the twill parts. Now we have to draw its front view. In front view a rectangle will appear having the dimension of a 50 by 60 millimeter line. Project or shift of these base points in front view label these points the bottom base circle in front view draw the axis line of a 60 millimeter which is of a 60 millimeter length axis is a represented then draw these generators in front view. Now we have to locate the section plane. As the section plane bisects the axis, so mark a point on axis which is at a 30 mm distance and the angle of a section plane is again 60 degree. So draw the section plane which bisects the axis now the section plane curves at the bottom base as well as the top base at the two points label these points as a point E and point B now in front you locate the cutting points where the generator cuts the section plane you label these cutting points with respect to its generators now shift all these points in top view locate the point A and point B where the section plane cuts the top and bottom base of a cylinder so this represents the sectional top view draw the hatching line within the section part of a top view Hatching lines should be equidistant of a uniform thickness and darkness and parallel to each other separated by approximately 2 to 3 mm distance. Now we have to draw the true shape of a section means we have to observe the section portion at a right angle to the section plane for this draw the new reference axis x1 y1 parallel to the section plane now shift or draw the projection line to the cutting points from front view now on this projection line with the help of a top view we have to locate these points with the reference of a x1 y1 so measure the distance point a now the point 2 and 12 point 3 and 11 point 4 and 10 
and lastly the point B which will lie on the circumference of a top base circle so point A and point B as we are getting the four points so for point A we have to draw the straight line now to join the remaining points use the French curve So trial and error and much concentration is required to select the proper profile of a French curve so that we can draw the smooth curve passing through these points. There is the sectional true shape is completed. Draw hatching line. So the hatching is completed, the true shape is also completed. Now darken the required portion of a front view, draw the continuous thick line to represent the remaining portion of the cylinder after cutting by section plane. Angle of a section plane with respect to horizontal plane or XY is represented to the dimension of a base circle the diameter of a 50 millimeter so radius is a 25 millimeter the 